Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Today, let's talk about Whipster. Whipster is a great service that will allow you to have uh, review and approval, online media storage folders, publishing, and analytics, and all of this great stuff. But my favorite part is the review part because I work in video and trying to review video and have comments via words only is completely missing a lot of information. Especially if somebody doesn't understand time code and you get the review notes in a stream of email with no way to understand exactly what they mean. With Webster, you can comment right on the video exactly where you want to make a comment and then I'll show you how we can import those comments directly into the Premiere Pro timeline. So in my Whipster account, I'm on my dashboard, I can see all the uh, media that I've uploaded and all the comments that have gone on. I, if I go into my media library, I've created two projects there and I can jump to that project and I can go through these videos just by scrubbing them here. But all the way back in the dashboard, if I wanna jump into the comments, I'm going to click on the video and it will load in the, in the inside the player. You'll notice that when I move my mouse inside the frame, it changes to a cross. I can either click once or click and drag and it's going to add a comment. So if I drag ahead a little bit like this and then click inside here, you'll see it adds a call out point that I can point anywhere I want to and say anything I want to and I'll compliment my own work and say, nice flair. I can make this public or the team only. And the team is the group that, that I'm sharing this with. And I can save that. And it will then become a comment directly in the timeline. You'll also notice a bunch of different colors down at the bottom. And that's each one of the team members over here on the right. And if I click on the info, it'll bring up all of the team players gives me some information of how many reviewers, how many views, how many have considered finish, and how many to-dos need to be done. If I jump to the comments section, I can now jump into, I can see clear thumbnails of what they're saying. I can go to the history, which is always being updated based on who has commented and who has viewed, and then the file data itself. So this was uploaded directly from the timeline in Premiere Pro. You can also just upload a file from your computer or you can upload from the cloud. I'm gonna start going through these comments just so we can see what they're talking about. Let me close this section on the right. I can jump to the comments if I want. There's also this great focus mode. And if I click in the focus mode, it will take me to the comment and only focus on what they're talking about. You can see that there's a little mark in here, but let's go back out to the video itself and we'll play this in context. So let me play that. There was a comment that came up and another comment that came up. So let's go look at that first one. And Edwin thinks that the wheels are uh, not spinning realistically. This is stock video from uh, Adobe stock, but this is obviously a 3D car. How do I know? Because there's nobody driving it. It's funny, no, no one comment that there's, there's no driver in here. So I'll play that. Actually, let's go back to where the wheels were and it comes in. Ah, I kind of think they're, they're okay. Um, and Nathaniel says, great opening, maybe a little bit of slow-mo and I could uh, click in here and add Good idea, save that. And now that is part of the review record. So at any time, someone can jump back to that review. Let me go back to the other one that was there. Wheels are not spinning uh, realistically. Um, and I'll write, actually, I think they're okay. Next up. Oh, we've got two comments on change the font. Change the font, change the font. Okay, okay, okay. 
Agreed. And all of these are being written into the cloud. So anyone can see these. That's on the team. Let's look at this one. Oh, this was just a test by someone. And we have a couple of comments here. Let's lose the cut, go back to the wider shot and speed it up. And another one, zoom out after the zoom seems unnecessary. And actually I was just, what I should have done instead of zooming in once and, and out once is probably I should have done it a few times. I was looking for more of that glitchy kind of feel. All right, keep going. You notice how smooth everything plays back. Okay, another comment here. Make the money layer stronger, increase the opacity so that I'm blending this falling money over the buildings. And I, I'll do that. Got another one here. Make bigger. Um, do you mean increase the scale? Let's keep going. We've got a few here. Lose this shot. And another one. Or put some plastic in the water or, or change the color to... We're having some fun with these, are we? <laughs> All right, another one here. Maybe add some reverb to the footsteps. Actually, there is reverb. In fact, all of these sounds were, were added as sound design later. So I have complete control to increase that reverb and I will in a second. And then this last one here. Great shot, I agree. And then Whipster is a cool tool. Hey, <laughs> that's great. All of these people were invited, just an open invite uh, through the video revealed uh, Facebook page and they just jumped in. They've never seen Whipster before. So they needed no training at all. They just jumped in and started to comment. Um, oh yeah, reduce the font size of lines two and three. And then last one, um, where Edwin wanted to know about coming back in as a team member. So he came back in as a second time. And because he hadn't been made a team member, he had to log in um, again instead of log in before. So um, anyone can comment on it. You can just send this out and you don't have to have any information at all. It's a public comment and people can comment. Or if it's much more private and you want a, an enclosed group of people, you can also do that. Let's jump into Premiere Pro and see how we can connect these two together. In the window menu extensions, you can load a Whipster review panel. So this is a separate extension that you install and it's part of your Whipster account. And it is a floating panel, just like any of the other Premiere Pro panels. If you drag it by the name, you can dock it to anywhere. So I'm gonna dock mine over on the right hand side and then resize this over to the right. Now you can see my team over here. Let me just resize a few more of these. That was the um, just to give my timeline a little bit more room. We'll zoom out. Okay, so let's open up my team, second project. And there is the clip. Now I'm gonna sync this and I, I've already done this once. Uh, so it says resync, but if, if you do this the first time, it just says sync and you'll see what happens. Every single one of the comments comes right in the timeline as a marker. Oh, hallelujah. This is no disputing what the reviewer is talking about. We not only have the words of what they want changed, we have the position in the Premiere Pro timeline and, and the Whipster online. We have the place in the frame that they're talking about. All right, so let's go through these. And what I can do is open up my markers now. And once I click on my timeline, I can go through each one of these. But I don't even need to do that because the whole Whipster panel has all the comments 
available, and it allows me to jump directly into the timeline of where that comment occurs. But I'm just going to increase the size of this window just so I can work on this a little bit easier. So they want this font changed. Okay, so I'll select the font and then go into my source and change this to something different. I'm going to look for just my Adobe fonts that I have and look for something, maybe this Komu. Oh boy, there we go. So let me play that back. There we go. That's, I, I don't mind that cutoff. It, it's got a, a cool look to it. I could go into the right hand side and I'm marking that one as complete. All right. Next one is change the font, please. We did that. That one is complete. That was just a, a John Doe test. So maybe I should complete all of these. Um, this one was about that changing the uh, scale. So I'm just going to click on the scale and remove that. I'll mark that as complete. This one is also the zoom. That's complete. Oh yes, the money layer. So let's jump into the money layer and I'll click on that money layer, go to the opacity. And right now it's 38. So I'll go to that and change that, make that darker. It's the pin light blend mode. So it starts light and then it comes in a lot darker. Okay, so that is done. This one, increase. Okay, so for this one, I'm just going to increase the scale a little bit and we'll mark that one done. This one, lose this shot. Okay, well, how about I use this shot here. So I'll set an endpoint for that. Select this clip, drag it in. So now I've got this clip right here. Okay. So let's click on that one. We don't need the water change. Some reverb in the footsteps. Oh, yes. And that's the footsteps here. So for the audio track mixer, I'll open up the reverb and make this a little wetter. So now we've got more footsteps. Okay, that's done. Great shot, that's done. Whipster's a cool tool, yep. All right, let's go to this one. And we need to change All right, change the size of the second and third line. All right, so now that we've done that, we open this up, you can see upload a new version. So I'll click on that. It's going to give me some choices of quality. I'm gonna go for the high quality and more options, obey in and out points, share this video after the upload. I'm gonna share this video and we will set this for uh, approval. 
there's an optional message. Start the upload. Whipster has loaded Media Encoder in the background and it's uploading using the quality of Media Encoder. Whipster is also available on mobile. So the exact same video that we saw with all the same comments um, right here, so I can be viewing this uh, remotely. And, and this is really essential because uh, it, sometimes those reviews are time-based and, and you seriously need to get the review information back from as many people as possible quickly and exactly wherever they are. So somebody could be on a train somewhere or uh, you know out at lunch, watch it quickly, hit OK, it's approved, or maybe even add more comments and send that out either on their, their phone or their tablet, wherever they are. All right, you can see it's almost finished the uh, upload and now it's sharing and back, back on Webster, you can see the same video is now showing as version two. It's encoding that online. As soon as that's available online, uh, the others will be notified and they can comment on this. Whipster has also added a nudge feature, which is an interesting feature to remind people it's time to comment on this. Because if you're the editor, just because you've sent this out and people have received it, doesn't mean that they're always going to get back to you with their comments. So you can nudge them. So I'm going to share with the five people who reviewed the previous one add them in and send that. While we're waiting for people to comment, I'll just show you that you can manage the shared links here. I love this one because here you can disable a link that you sent out previously. This is great if you don't want people to accidentally comment on something that's old. You remove it, it's gone, and now the record of what they commented is in Webster, but you're stopping any future links to that. That's a good one. It also tells me the current usage of my storage and my address book where I can add and control all the, the uh, team members uh, for my account. So you'll notice back on the Whipster main section, there's a flow section and pulse, which are uh, different. Right now I've got a business account which does allow me to have these media library folders, review approvals and storage options of 15 gigabytes, 50 and 100 gigabytes. And the one thing about Webster is they're always adding to their features and they're updating. So if you're looking at this service, make sure you check out the latest offering because it might be different from uh, this particular tutorial. So that's the pro account. The business account adds a little bit more. The business account is everything in pro. It starts at 250 gigabytes and you can go as much as you want. Uh, you know, talk to a sales rep. There's the dashboard in activity, uh, the flow, which is a project status, uh, pending approval, review, editing and approval, and pulse. Pulse, which allows you to publish to social from Whipster and get a snapshot of how that video is performing on social media, the views and engagement on there. So it's more than just a re review and approval, but this is what I'm really uh, hooked on right now. All right, let's go back to our media library in our project. We'll open that up again. And you can see the team members you know what, I'm gonna nudge them. Email this contact, remind them to give feedback. Sure. He's nudged. There's a nudge. There's a nudge. And there's a nudge. Oh. All right, so I've, I've added those changes and we can see them now in here. There's that different font that was used. And I took out the uh, zoom in there. The money overlay is gonna be a lot darker. And that frame is now larger. Actually, that's right, that does work better. Here's our new shot. And the footsteps. 
and the type. So all the changes are done on version two. We're just waiting for um, folks to comment on them. And once they do, they would show up in the next version. And at that point, we could resync version two uh, to, the, to what's on the timeline. So they would show up there. So here's version one and version two. I could go back and forth between these and resync. I could unsync this one. I could resync this to a completely different version. So depending on, on how you want to work, I could have duplicated this um, timeline and called it version one and then called the next one version two and then resync a completely different bunch of comments to the timeline, however you want to work it. In my case, I updated the timeline that was in here. So I don't have the old timeline, which is can be a little bit scary if somebody ends up going back. You remember in version one, we had that thing? Yikes. All right. So it looks like uh, I'm not going to get uh, comments from, from anyone right now, but uh, so there you go. There is a look at Whipster comment and review um, approval. It, it's a great service. They contacted me out of the blue. Uh, and actually, I've been following them ever since they started as a company years ago. And they're one of the, the top companies for uh, review and approval and, and working with teams. It's really interesting to see what's going on. So they came to me. They uh, gave me an affiliate link. So if you're thinking of signing up, there's a link in the description for you to use um, uh, to get connected. And um, hopefully you'll find that this helps your, your review and approval uh, process. And if you're part of a larger organization, this is so much better than sending out email and trying to decipher what someone's uh, comments are, especially if they're a marketing person who are, they don't come from production, so they can't talk your video language. All right. If you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal, one time or monthly donation. There's a link in the description on the front of the channel. Thanks to all of our wonderful PayPal donors. If you want to be notified of uh, the new tutorials, there's a link in the description. There, sorry, you got to ring the bell down at the bottom to do that. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to bring some of these wonderful workflow solutions to make your life a lot easier.